Hello, everyone, and welcome to another awesome Earth Rangers live session. My name is Catherine. And I'm Sadie. <laughs> and we're coming at you live from the Earth Rangers Center. But today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be playing a little bit with chemistry, and we're actually going to be making our very own slime. So Earth Rangers has partnered up with BASF. You can see right there in this on the screen and on our aprons here, BASF, which is the largest chemical company in the world. And we have partnered up with them basically to teach kids all about the importance of chemistry and how it could be important in the environment and as well as it could be a lot of fun. It's not really that boring. It's actually very, very interesting. So um, now we're, you might be wondering what really does making slime have to do with chemistry? Well, it actually has quite a lot to do with chemistry. So slime is actually made up of something called a polymer. And a polymer is a chain link of molecules, back-to-back -back chain, uh, uh, chain together. And molecules, of course, are made up of atoms. Now, you might have heard that word atom before because atoms actually make up every single thing on this planet. From the smallest little things you could think of, like maybe little ants crawling around, even dirt um, or trees, and we're thinking bigger things like vehicles, whole buildings, even our bodies, we are all made up of atoms. And without that, we would have nothing on. We would not be here basically. All right, so after going that into a little bit of those chemistry basics, now we're going to be talking about we're going to be making our slime and that is basically called a man-made polymer because we are going to be making the slime ourselves. However, you could also find polymers out in nature. For example, you could find them in plants. Uh, plants have something called cellulose and that makes up the plant wall. Now that is actually a polymer as well. Now, polymers can also be found in things that we eat, like starch. Starch is made up of polymers, and st starch is, made, is, uh, so is found in bread, potatoes, and pasta, which I love those things. Those are my favorite things to eat. How about you, Sadie? You love those? Those are actually all my favorite food groups, so yes. <laughs> awesome. And as well, we can definitely find polymers in our bodies as well. So, Paul, for example, Proteins are made up of polymers, and proteins can be found in our muscles, fingernails, as well as in our hairs. On In our hair, yes. <laughs> All right. Now, that's really interesting, and sometimes polymers can actually uh, uh, form together, kind of like cross-link together. It's basically what they're called. is cross-linking, and that's very important for what we are going to be doing today, which we're going to talk to you about it as we go on. But now I'm going to pass it over to Sadie, um, and she will give you the instructions of how to do it. And sorry, just before I pass it over to her as well, I also want to just go over a little bit of safety uh, rules. Now, we're not working with anything that's dangerous at all today, thankfully, but I just want to make sure that it can get that everybody has something that they don't mind getting messy. Sometimes when you're working with chemistry, things could get a little messy. We are going to be getting hands-on today with our slime, so definitely make sure you have on a shirt that you don't mind getting dirty just in case it gets on your clothes. But now I'm going to pass it over to you, Sadie, and let's get things started. All right. Thank you, Catherine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each of the steps. We're going to go slow. So in case you miss it, then Catherine is also just going to repeat what I've done. Um, just in case you miss it, we are live. So then you kind of get two chances to catch up. Um, all right. So just one moment. All right. Well, she oh, sorry. Why? We're just having a little bit of difficulty with the camera. One second. Sorry. All right. There we go. I got it to work. Sorry. Sorry. All right. So what we're going to do first is we need the glue. Now, glue is the polymer itself. It is um, a polymer called polyvinyl alcohol. And that's what we want to kind of stick to itself and crosslink and become the slime. So I have my, you're going well, to want to have a Ziploc bag. And I kind of put mine in a cup. It's easier this way. So I'm going to put five tablespoons of white glue. Okay, everyone. So, oh, we just got to get it to come out first. Sometimes it gets a little sticky. Oh, there we go. There's my first tablespoon. All right. And my glue, hopefully no one else's glue is this messy because mine is very, very messy. Okay. Oh, there's my second tablespoon <laughs> of glue. All right. It's very, very messy. So this is why Catherine told everyone to wear clothes that they don't mind getting dirty. That was our third. We have two more. All right. 
I see heartbeats to Skipper, excuse me, says I'm wearing my dad's shirt, says he says he says that I can get it dirty. Perfect. Oh, well, that's awesome then. There you yeah. go. <laughs> okay, that was my last tablespoon. So that's five. All right. So now what I can do is take my glue out. All right, and I'll come up to the camera and show everyone a little bit closer. So that is my bag of glue. And Catherine also has a bag of glue. And that is five tablespoons. All right. So we'll give everyone a couple of minutes to kind of make sure they got their glue ready. And everyone send some thumbs up if we're already having fun. We're already getting a little messy. I know I am. My station is already very, very messy. All right, but now hopefully you all have your five tablespoons of glue in your zip lock bag. So that is awesome. Now our next step is that we are going to add baking soda. All right. Now we need a quarter tablespoon, but we only have a quarter teaspoon. So we're going to put three of these in. All right. But you want a quarter tablespoon. So you want to open your bag really carefully. You don't want to spill any of your glue. Okay. So I have one, two, okay, and this is my third one, three, awesome. Now, what I you can do- I measured it, so I have my little three tablespoons as well, putting that in there too. Awesome. So then after that, you want to make sure that you tight, put, close your bag, make sure it's super tight so you don't lose any of the glue. Now, here at BSF and Earth Rangers, we have a special way to mix glue, all right? So what you're going to do is you're going to go like this, and you're just going to mix it like that. And you want to do it gently because you don't want to break your bag. But this way, it'll mix all around, and then hopefully you don't doesn't explode out of your bag. It feels really funny, too. I like, I like the feeling of it. Yeah, and it's still like so, yeah, like liquidy and, all right, make sure mine's tight. I almost just broke it. <laughs> <laughs> would not be good. Okay. So there we go, everyone. Hopefully everyone's at this step as well. We now have our glue mixed with our baking soda. All right. So we are all ready for our next step. What you're going to do now again is you're going to open your bag up again, very carefully, make sure not to lose any of this. Now, this is the best. This is the most fun part because slime is not as fun when it's just this white color, you know? So what you can do is add your own color. Now I chose pink um, as my color. So you want to do, and Catherine has blue as I can see, mm -hmm. and you want to add only two to three drops. You don't want to add too much. So I'm going to add, I think I'll put three. Catherine, how many are you going to put in? I think I'm going to do three too. I want a nice vibrant color for my slime. Same. All right. So everyone add that in there. Now, the food coloring doesn't really do anything um, scientific <laughs> to the experiment. It just makes it look really nice and cool. So it's not um, that it's just going to make your slime look a good color. So make sure you tighten the bag again when you close it. And we're going to mix it the exact same way. So like how we were doing it before, I'll come back around. Definitely comment the colors that you guys are making your slime. If you're doing it different colors than us, we'd love to know. Yes, absolutely. We're going to have a bunch of colorful slimes, I think, after this, Catherine. Make sure you get all that color in there. Yes, yeah, so you don't want to have any white left when you are done mixing. You want it to be all that same color because once we do the next step, then you're not going to be able to mix the color anymore. So make sure this is the color that you want. Mm -hmm. As well, there's like a cool trick we have as well. As your glue starts to rise up to the top, you can kind of push it down gently with your fingers so that it's not near the tops. So when you open your bag, it doesn't come out. Now, Lisa says, can't wait to see the outcome. Me too. Haley says mine is yellow. Lisa said mine is purple. Oh, someone said theirs is blue as well. Catherine, we've got some blue, some fans of blue. We're doing all sorts of colors today. I love it. Okay. How is your color looking? Because mine looks mine almost perfect. Pretty good. Yeah, same. So this is mine right now. Everyone can see mine. Okay, so I think we're ready for the next step. I'm definitely ready. So let's go so back around our table. So this is our last step. to Well, not the very last step, but the last ingredient we're going to add. So open your bag up again really carefully. Don't want to lose any of that colorful glue. Now, what you're going to want to add now is contact lens solution, all right? So 
this and you're going to add a half tablespoon. All right, so I'm going to measure mine out pretty carefully. It's a little slow. It's going to take me a minute. Just going to. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to pour it very carefully into my bag. So everyone can do that. Kat's going to do that too. Yes. Now the contact lens solution is really the most important part to making our slime. It is definitely what is going to cause that cross linking and form our slime. Exactly. So I'm going to come up to the camera and show you all my slime again. So what we can do is close it up really tight like we've done all the other times and then mix it around. Now this time when you're mixing, I want all of you to pay attention because your glue is going to start to change. It's not going to feel so liquidy anymore and like glue. It's kind of going to start to harden and it's going to start becoming slime. Now, Georgina Garcia said, I'm doing the slime in a bowl. Will it still work? Yes, it will still work. Just make sure you mix it up really well. But I'm sure, yeah, it'll work in a bowl as well. Um, Allison Beth said, ours are green, multicolor, blue, and purple. So that sounds awesome. I wish mine was tie-dye. Maybe that's what I'll do my next slime. I know, right? So as we are mixing, you're going to start to notice, yeah, it's going to get a little thicker. So that means your slime is starting to form. Now, this is the dirty part, but this is also the best part. This is the part where we get a little messy. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to open up my bag, all right? And I'm going to stick. I'm going to turn it inside out. This is the easiest way. Does everyone see how gross my slime looks right now? Can you guys see that? So it looks gross now, and it's going to feel gross. But what you can do... Is you can take now, you want to start to grab your slime. It's going to feel gross, I promise. But the more you touch it and play with it, the more it's going to start turning into your slime. So everyone start playing around with it. Mine feels definitely gross. <laughs> I'm trying to get it all off. Mine's really messy. Very Comment if yours is as messy as ours is right now. Mine is definitely. Oh, I mine's dripping onto yep, the floor. Okay. As long as you keep playing with, though, playing with it, though, it will start to harden more and more, and the liquidness will start to stop. As you could tell, it kind of started stopped already. Just keep playing with it. <laughs> and, yeah, you can also, like, as it'll get off your hands, too, you can just kind of, like, look at now mine. Yeah, it's taking all the slime from off my hands. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to – oh, I'm losing slime. <laughs> Mine's definitely messier this time. There we go. All right, and you can also take it off your bag. So Georgina says mine is very messy. That is, oh, okay, I hope you have a placemat down or some paper towels around, but that's okay. Slime is supposed to be a little bit messy. That's awesome. And if you're using a bag like us, you can kind of take your slime and get all the slime that's left on your bag. So then your bag can be pretty clean after. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. So now this is literally as you're playing with it, this is the cross linking happening. So now the polymer, which is the glue, is starting to stick to itself and make those links. And that's when it's going to become slime. That's why it's becoming this more solid, not really even solid slime. It's kind of its own thing. But yeah, so now it's going to, it's going to become slime mm -hmm. as we're playing with it. So someone said, mine is less messy than last time. Actually, mine is way more lessy, messy than last time. Last time I did. But that's okay. That makes it more fun, right? So everyone send us hard thumbs up if you guys are having fun. And if your slime is turning out good, let us know. All right. So we have our slime. Yes. So the same way that you could see us taking the slime off of the plastic bag here, if it happens to go on your table that you're working on or anything, just go ahead and slap it onto the table or whatever that uh, slime is sticking on and it'll slick, stick right back to your little slime ball and it'll be an easy cleanup that way for sure. Absolutely. So the interesting thing is that we used to do this all across Canada. We would do these BASF labs in classrooms with students. So unfortunately, since we can't do that anymore right now, this is also a really great alternative because here we are all making slime together. So now I have a good slime, Kat. Do you have a good slime? I think I have a good slime, yeah. Okay, so let's do a little bit of tests. Everyone, if you have your slime, all right, we're going to do a little bit of a test. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to pull your slime really slowly. There we go. This is like our how gooey is your slime. Oh, mine. But don't drop it. Don't drop it. 
I caught mine. But yeah, so ours are pretty gooey. So mine stretches pretty far. But if you go really slow, and it kind of just hangs. There we go. So thumbs up of everyone. Or comment if you guys have a really goopy slime like ours. Okay. Now what I want you all to do is I want you to roll it in a ball. Roll it in a ball. Roll it in a ball. There we go. Okay. And then what you can do is I want you to rip it. Oh, I just flung oh, wow. some of mine across the room. <laughs> it ripped it? really easily. I don't know about you guys, but wow. Yeah, same. All right. And then we'll just rip it one more time. Everyone put it into a ball. Let's rip it one more time. Mine off. Lisa said hers fell on the floor. So did mine, Lisa. So did mine. All right, ready? We're going to rip it. Yeah. That's good slime. Good slime. Good, good slime. All right. So if everyone is has their slime and has made it, we also want to see your slime. You've seen me and cat slime, but we want to see yours. So while you're making your slime or take pictures of it with take pictures with your slime after. And if you upload them to Facebook and tag us, we want to see those pictures. And um We'll definitely comment back and we would love to see everyone's slime since you've seen our slime now as well. So um, let's give a little summary first of kind of what we've learned, right, Kat? Or do you have anything else to add before we... Uh, no, I was just going to say Instagram as well as Facebook, both of those places will definitely repost your stuff if you send that to us or tag us in the pictures and definitely tag Summer Eco Activity, of course. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. So some quick things before we put the slime away. If your slime starts to dry out, um, you definitely want to try and keep it in your bag or container or whatever you've made it in. But if it starts to dry out, you can add a little bit of water or I've heard adding some hand cream can help to make your slime um, all great again and a little bit more gooey. So definitely try and keep it though in a closed bag or container. As well, if you, you reuse this recipe, you could put um, multiple slimes in your bag. So you're kind of reusing them for your slime. Um, but just to to recap what we've learned we learned that atoms make up everything in the world our bodies the earth the floor the chairs everything now those go together to make molecules and molecules can form together to form a polymer chain and polymer is what the glue was and we wanted that polymer to stick to itself so that is why we added our eye contact solution because that was kind of the binding agent that crosslinked it the baking soda kind of thickens it up and the drops, uh, sorry, the food coloring was just so that it was a really nice color because these are definitely more interesting than white. Now, thank you so much again for watching this live and making slime with us. We want to thank BSF again for the sponsor and for allowing us to come and make slime with all of you and to show you how much fun chemistry really can be. Now, Kat, do you have anything else to add? Yes, I just wanted one more thing. So our slime is pretty sticky. So if you do drop it on the ground, it's going to pick up anything that's on the ground too. So especially if you're outside playing with your slime, be careful by dropping it on the ground because it's going to pick up all those dirt and rocks that you that are on the ground. Uh, so just watch out for that. You want to make, make sure you keep your slime nice and clean and that way it'll prolong its life and you can use it as long as you want. Uh, but that's really all I had to say and I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I definitely had fun. And yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone. Um, and yeah, make sure you share this video with your friends and family because they may also want to make some fun slime. See you next time. Bye guys. Bye everyone.